house was violated. Mr. Vijay Vasant, who is in fact a member of parliament. Mr. Vasant, how would you respond to this? The government also has said, Piyush Goyal today when he moved the motion, he said that there was behavior of the kind that cannot be condoned inside the August house. Oh, I would say we've been pushed to this extent because we've been demanding a uh, Home Minister to reply in the House and which is not happening. So we keep demanding for that. And uh, just because we are raising our voices and raising our, our demand, we keep suspending it is not fair. So we do follow the dignity of the House, but mm. when the House is not uh, in a position to uh, listen to the oppositions, then we have to show it up. Mr. Vasant, is it true that uh, three MPs, at least three MPs, tried to get onto the chair of the Speaker? Uh, we, we just uh, walked towards the speaker's chair, uh, showing her agitation. Hmm. We've been requesting to uh, listen to us and ask the Home Minister to come and address the house. No, but sir, your case has been referred to the Privileges Committee. And I heard the speaker say that in what is a complete breach of parliamentary ethics, you, Mr. Abdul Khaliq and K. Jay Kumar, actually tried to get onto the speaker's chair. Yes, yes, ma'am, but uh, we, we've been uh, <clears throat> raising the slogans and showing the placards, uh, getting the government's attention in order to have a um, explanation inside the house, which has not been heard by the government. So we have we've been pushed to this extent because we we need the answer. We're not asking anything else. We just want the Home Minister to come and explain it inside the house, which is not referring to. Instead of that, we've been all been suspended, sending out what, what is happening and where is the democracy there? You just say that we three just barge into the speaker's chair and we are, we've been suspended. Not, we've been raising our issues for a while. Uh, earlier it was 14 MPs, now it was again 48, almost 92 MPs from the both houses have been suspended. Just because we're raising a voice or asking or uh, requesting for a home minister to speak in the house. But you're, but you're confirming that you tried to get onto the speaker's chair. So we've been pushed are, are you, to this extent. Are you, sir, confirming that you and two other honorable yes, yes. members tried to get onto the speaker's chair? So we we walked uh, we moved towards him, requesting him, as raising slogans towards him, saying that like we need a discussion on it. You tried to walk towards the speaker, but you don't. But you did not in any way try to get onto his seat. What were the slogans you were raising? No, 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 not at all, not at all. So we were requesting the Home Minister to speak in this house. You know the government has given earlier precedents of when there were. Attempts made by people who jumped from the visitor's gallery. There was one attempt, in fact, where the person was carrying something like a pistol. At that time, there had been unanimity in the house and politicization was not done. How do you respond to the government's charge that this time what should be bipartisan issue is being turned into a political weapon against the government? Ma'am, I would say like we were not politicizing it. Uh, uh, from the visitors' gallery, uh, two strangers jump into the house. They run towards the speaker. They uh, have a smoke in their hand. And uh, what happens? The government reaction to it. It's a security breach has happened, which is inside the house. My my question is, what if if the visitor who entered the parliamentary house was from a Congress party or an allied party? Will the government react the same? Hmm. But you know, see, uh, it's not the thing that even since the MP who issued the pass was for BJP, I think the government is not in a position to answer the question. But they are saying that we are the, requesting them to just address the house. But Om Mila is saying that we have already taken action. Security personnel have been suspended. Uh, an investigation has been ordered. The security measures have been beefed up. Why are these not satisfactory steps? Ma'am, uh, when a visitor jumped. Uh, the two people jump from the visitors gallery, visitors pass has been cancelled. When opposition, Congress and allied parties, we raised a question, we've been suspended. What happened to the BJP MP who issued the pass? Why no action has been taken against him? Hmm. When immediate actions have been taken against the uh, members who are raising slogans can be suspended. What, what happened to the BJP MP who issued the pass? Why the government not saying anything about it? But this is, this is, this is an issue which has got past precedent as well. Unfortunate as they are, such incidents have taken place in the past. The one incident I quoted to you was from 1974. Another incident that took place in the 90s when Mr. P. V. Narsamarao was the Prime Minister. And at that time, 
nobody had asked for a statement or asked for a resignation of any person. Ma'am, I, uh, I don't want to uh, has, tell about what happened then. We are, uh, we are uh, addressing the situation, what happened now. We are the new parliament of ours where we claim that the best security has been given and it's been breached inside mm. the house. What happened then, I don't want to know. I just want to know what happened now. Okay. What, 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 if, what if some other uh, casualties have happened? What will happen then? All right, Mr. Vijay Vasan, thanks very much. Your case has gone before the Privileges Committee. Last question to you. Uh, are you... Fearful that your suspension could extend even beyond the winter session and it's going to be pending your investigation by the committee. Yes, I do aware of it. Um, the, the party, uh, with, I'm with the party side, whatever the party says and whatever the parliamentary uh, decisions have been, I'll be waiting for it. All right, Mr. Vijayasan, thank you very much uh, for joining us.